Hey guys, so today's video is about what a regular school day looks like for me. I am a commuter, so I drive all the way to Atlanta twice a week. And I'm just gonna give you a brief look at what my days are like. This is my second day back in school. This is my first week. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is basically what my day is. And let's get on to the video. So it is currently five. Six in the morning and I just woke up and now I'm gonna get start getting ready for school I have 30 minutes before I have to leave so normally I go and pet my cat and greet her early in the mornings okay so like always I am running late it is 6 44 I don't know if you can see that but I am on my way to school I'm not making any stops today so normally either one of the two days I stop for coffee and sometimes I will stop for gas but normally my commute all the way to school lasts about an hour which can seem a lot but it's honestly not too bad. That is though the main reason why I leave so early because it allows me to like avoid all the traffic and just makes it easier than if I leave a couple minutes later and then I'm stuck in traffic for almost two hours. Okay, so I just got to school and now I, um, I normally do my makeup. So I have all my makeup here and then this one, but I use it just for the mirror. And I'm just gonna do a quick time lapse of how I do my makeup because that's gonna take the whole video. Okay, so I did my makeup and it was just really basic concealer, blush, bronzer gloss and then mascara and I couldn't record it because the lighting like kept hitting me and it just kept whiting out my face so now I'm gonna go straight to the library because I'm an hour early that's my type of early and then I'll show you what I do while I'm there so in the building I normally park at there are three elevators and two staircases I personally prefer using this elevator since it's a lot less crowded and not a lot of people use it I do use the stairs most days but I think it was easier today to record on the elevator. So as I'm walking to class, as you can see, we have an outdoor campus and it's super open. And I mean, like the city is intertwined with the school. So I really like it because it gives like, I mean, I am in the city, but like it gives a different vibe than like being in a, like a college that is just like a just college students I really like it and now I'm gonna go into the library so our library does consist of multiple floors I believe it has nine but five are actually part of the library I normally go to the fourth floor I just find it more relaxing and it tends to be more empty however the fifth floor is the silent floor and all of the other floors are accessible for everyone as well there is a middle part that connects the two buildings and it is made out of glass and it's normally very gorgeous but it's super crowded. So I sat down where I normally sit and and now I'm just gonna do some work that I do there and I'm gonna um, plan out the rest of my week. So if there's one thing about me is that I will stick to my routines and I come and sit here every single morning and drink my coffee or eat my breakfast until I have to leave for my next class and I'll either do work or plan out the rest of the week and it's just very relaxing and soothing to sit there. So this is the glass section and on the other side there are meeting rooms that have huge windows and are nice to sit in. Okay so now I'm headed to my next class and I personally prefer using the stairs when I'm going downstairs. And no one ever seems to use this staircase, it's less empty. So it's kind of nice. And I'm headed to my first class, which is human development, intro to human development, which is a psych class. And so far it's been like one of my favorite. I mean, it's only the second day, so. So at this point, I'm done with my first class and I'm just headed back to the library since I just spend my time alternating between classes. So I finished my class and I came to the library because I have some work I need to do and I'm taking a real estate course so I need to work on that and just 
turn in some like read my syllabuses because I have a quiz on that and just wait until my next class starts which is not until like 12 30. So at this point of the day I was starving and I had a salad tape for lunch and I was so hungry because all I had eaten was a banana earlier that day and I needed something to fuel myself and then as time went on I continued to respond to discussion posts as well as read my syllabuses and just take some notes for some classes and I had obviously changed seats because the place where I normally sat at was full. sitting here i was able to eat my lunch take a quiz go through all the notes like for the syllabus and stuff like that for my online class and now i'm just gonna watch my tv show because i have like 40 minutes until my class starts but it's like a seven ten minute walk so i really don't want to start any other assignment and like my next class is French, so I'm excited about that. But all I'm gonna do is just watch my show. Also, while I watch this, I'm just gonna let y'all know I did my nails and I made like little hearts on them. I'm gonna ma like make a, a short on it, but like I thought they were really cute. I'm gonna keep practicing so that the hearts look a little better. But like this took me what like 30 minutes. Okay, I'm back in the staircase, and I'm gonna be very honest, my days consist of like the same thing. <laughs> like, I don't really change it up a lot. So in between classes, I'll go to the library, and like, I just go to my classes. <laughs> I don't really explore. There is a gym though. So maybe after this class, like I'll walk into the gym. I mean, I have the right clothes to go and work out. I just need to change my shoes. I have another pair in the car. But, um, honestly, yeah, like, I'll just be back and forth between the library and my classes. Okay, so it is currently 2.30. I came to my car because my head hurt. I didn't even record it. I came to my car because my head hurt and I just feel tired and I'm hungry. So I came for water and a banana and I'm gonna rest in my car for a little bit. It's like my personal home. I have a little squishmallow in the back. And after that, I think I'm gonna head to my class. I might get boba before, but yeah. Okay, I'm back on the elevator. You can see, same one. And I am headed to my anthropology class. I'm very excited, but I'm gonna just get um, boba beforehand. So I in fact did not get boba that day because when I went to the line, it just seemed too long and I didn't want to risk being late to my class. Okay, so I am in my last building, which is called Adderhold. And so it has, I actually really like this building because it has like an outdoor balcony. And as you can see, I'm on like the third floor and it's really nice. And let me flip it around so that I can show you all like what it looks like. So as you can see, obviously there are a lot of buildings around and I just personally love this building. I think we're on the fourth floor and I just love how it looks because it really makes you feel like you're in the city. I mean, you are, but. So this is the other side of the building and there's some offices as you can see in a Starbucks as well. And at this point I was finally leaving because it was the end of the day. And I just really love the structure inside the building because it looks so cool. At this point, I was just trying to hurry up to my car because it was almost 5 o'clock and I knew that I didn't want to hit that 5 o'clock traffic home. So, I don't know if you remember, but like when I was driving over here, you can see this sign that says, Go Dogs. And so now, I only headed to my car and... This is like, I think it's the biggest building that we have. It's like 30, it's like 20 floors or something like that. But it's just a bunch of like offices. Okay, so I'm finally in my car between my little Squishmallow and my book. And I'm finally gonna get to get home. I've been snacking on these all day because 
I didn't have enough food and I didn't want to buy food but I'm finally getting to get home and I'm just gonna show you how I get home there's probably gonna be traffic but I might stop for food but I think there's food at home so we'll see so at this point I had already spent at least 25 minutes in the parking garage since there was a lot of traffic until this really nice girl redirected us and sent us a different route and I honestly thought I was gonna get home in maybe an hour and a half but it took two hours and on my way home I saw two different accidents and traffic was terrible. Okay so I'm finally home. I am so tired. Today was one of those days where I just feel I just want to go home. I mean I was stuck in traffic for like two hours on my way back but yeah, that's what my days basically consist of. Y'all can see that I leave when it's dark and then I come back home when it's dark. Obviously this semester is different because my classes are later. But yeah, I mean, this is just what I do on a regular day. Sometimes they're a little bit more interesting, but most days it's just class to library and then library to class. But yes, I'm so excited to see you guys in the next video. And I have my socials down below and I'm so excited to see y'all.